Hey guys, Paul Pluto Channel, Paul Pluto Paid Watch Reviews, and today I'm doing a paid review for Dan. Archie, just sent a few bucks to your PayPal account. Looking forward to your advice on which of the watches in my modest collection I should keep. I'd love to hold on to both, but unfortunately am just not in a position to do so. Alternatively, if you can think of uh, if you think I am way off the mark and would recommend something else altogether, my max budget would be 5,000 US dollars. A little background. I have a nickel allergy. An alloy with nickel in it will eventually give me a rash. A rash if it is in contact with my skin. Yes, even Rolex stainless causes this problem. In the world of watches, this limits me to titanium, aluminum, uh, ceramic, certain coated steels, etc. It is important that both the case and cases back, case back, be one of these metals, as I've seen a few titanium watches with plain stainless backs, which cause, which would cause me problems. With that in mind, the two watches in my current collection are Drumwall Tudor Heritage Black Bay Bronze and a Breitling Avenger Blackbird 44. These watches serve as all-round performers from weekend to casual wear, so versatility is important. Looking forward to your advice. So let's just work this out, Dan. What are you trying to do here? You want to, looking for advice on which watch, on which of the watches in my collection um, do you keep? So you've got two. You've got the Breitling Avenger Blackbird. And you've got a Tudor Black Bay Bronze. Wow! Wowzers! This is a very interesting problem. Um, without a doubt, keep the Tudor Black Bay Bronze. Keep the Bronzo! That's what I would be doing. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, definitely. Keep the fucking Tudor! Tudor, 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 fuckers! Keep the Tudor. Uh, that's what I'd be doing. Okay. But, uh, I gotta tell you something, guys. I'm saying to you, keep the Bronzo Tudor, but I understand me Breitling love. See, I've been a guy who loves... I love my... my Breitling. I love me Breitling. And yes, I love my Tudor. Um, but I gotta tell you, I think on the used market, you're probably, if you are... The way you're saying this in this letter to me, you're saying that you really do need to sell one. But unfortunately, I'm just not in a position to do so. Okay, so you need the money. <laughs> sell the Bronzo. Sell the Bronzo. Breitling is a great watch. I love Breitlings. But I think you're going to get far more... It's going to be an easier time to sell the Bronzo than it is to sell the Avenger Blackbird. Um, I mean, it's a case of heart or heart or head. The heart says keep the Tudor, but the head says keep the Breitling. Tudor's easy to sell. Um, so that's, you know, I, I gotta be honest with you. I really do not understand why Breitling is so soft in the used market. It is soft as fucking dog shit. And I, I love, I love my Breitlings. It's not like I'm trying to have a go at the brand. I'm not trying to be nasty or anything like that there. I just, I just, I just telling you the truth. They're fucking soft as shit. Okay, that's the truth. So maybe you're better off sell the Tudor, sell the Tudor. You can always get one again. I mean, are they going to be that rare? Tudor. Tudor's owned by Rolex. They're a corporation. They care about money. Well, actually, they're a charitable trust. Even <laughs> look at the Catholic Church. You want to talk about charitable trusts. Um, look, I, I really think in your case there, get 
get the keep the bright link, sell the tutor, and uh, when you get into a better position, you could see. Hopefully, what they do is with the Bronzo is they bring a few other versions out. Then the original one may fall a bit, or there might be one you like better. I actually bronze. Uh, you know, it's not. I don't really have any desire. I got to be honest with you. In my case. I love stainless steel. I think stainless steel is the best metal. But you're not just saying this to me to uh, float the boat. You've got a medical condition where you are allergic to certain certain types of uh, metals. And that is uh, exactly... I definitely, I reckon, flick... The tutor's going to be so much easier to flick. <laughs> People want the tutor. Uh, the Breitling. Breitling is a cool brand. I love Breitling. I mean, yeah, I know they're a bit gimmicky. They're a bit, you know, they're a bit over the top, but that's part of the charm. I, um, I gotta be honest with you. I don't think my life, my life would not be complete without a Breitling. I would not feel balanced as a human being if I did not own a Breitling. That's right, guys. The Tudor is cool, but... The Breitling Super Ocean is, I think it's, if I had to pick one, fuck, that'd be hard, that'd be hard, Archie. I'd probably, i got to be honest with you, okay, I'd probably, I would probably keep the Breitling, because I love that, that leather travel, the tan leather travel pouch, ah, oh, it smells divine, and uh, the Tudor's probably easy to flick. Yeah, that's what I reckon I'd do. So there, there you go. It's the heart and the head. I hope you get into a position where you can afford to buy more watches. We want to be happy in life. And one way we can be happy is to buy more watches. That's what I would really be doing. Buying more watches. Um, so I, I hope this is a short-term financial problem. And I hope things improve. Um... I, I go through many sacrifices myself. I've I've got uh, I have a lack of curtains, lack of curtains in my my house. I've had a carpet beetle infestation. I've I've had a lot of problems in my life which I sacrificed to buy luxury watches. So um, I I sympathise with you one hundred percent, absolutely, positively. So uh, I I really keep the Breitling, keep the Breitling. And uh, sell the Tudor. That would be, be the easiest way to get... The, and that's the easiest way to realize your money back. Uh, and Breitling's not a bad brand. They're, they're, they're a cool brand. I love Breitling. I love them. I really do love... I love, I love everything about Breitling. So there you go, guys. I'm Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. Tell me what you fuckers think of that.